exercise, three different exercises. This first one is lateral strides. And I'm just trying to move my feet as quickly as possible. With the resistance, I'm trying to push out as far as I can, but still focusing on being quick. So you can go for about 20 seconds. Uh, that's what I recommend. But in reality, I'm just trying to go as fast as I can until I start to lose my quality. When I feel I'm getting sloppy, then I'll just stop and rest and then I'll move on to the next exercise. So again, resting in between and focusing on just kind of recovering. I want to feel that I've recovered enough that I can go and really push myself as fast as I can on the next exercise. So obviously you can get different um, strengths of resistance in the bands, but challenge yourself. It should feel a little awkward, should feel heavy. You should feel like you're fighting against something. These are the forward strides. Focus on pumping your arms there. Here, this is another uh, hip flexor exercise, really strengthening those hip flexors. So this one, rather than speed, it's more power and hold, power and hold, power and hold, drive and hold. Working on that arm movement as well. I should be getting my arms up a little higher. I want to pump them with a little more power. But lifting those toes up, lifting your hip flexor, your knee up, really driving it forward, focusing on that good power and pump. So now I'm going to do the same exercises, but I'm going to do them without the resistance band. Again, I'm just doing one set for each exercise. But now that I don't have the resistance, I feel a little faster, feel a little more explosive. And that's the idea behind it. Doing the forward strides, really focus on good arm movement here. If your arm mechanics are off, it's going to be very awkward and it's going to be difficult to keep your rhythm. So really focus on your arms Again, hip flexor, pump and hold, pump and hold. Focusing also on that planting foot, really planting with good power, good balance, strength in your toes, having a strong foot, so flexing your ankle, flexing the balls of your feet, and really pumping, keeping your upper body up nice and straight as well. Don't hunch over with your back. Good core strength as well. Moving forward, so this is the quick step, a lateral quick step. So all these exercises, you're going to do a little quick movement and then accelerate out of it. So here watching, this is the figure eight. Again, I'm just doing one set each direction. And because I was walking back, I clipped these. So usually I would just walk back and focus on my breathing. As soon as I got back, I would go into the next one. So you're working on your speed, little recovery in between. But even if you're tired, just go for it. Focus on that speed again. So you're getting some stamina out of it. This is the next set of exercises. The first one is a quick step. So quick forward, quick back, and then accelerate through. Then you're going to go into a side shuffle, side shuffle there, side shuffle back, accelerate through. On both sides, again, just one set, one repetition for each side. This is a cross step, so instead of a side shuffle, I'm stepping across my front foot and then sprinting forward. You'll see if you watch it a few times, cross step, cross step, and then sprinting forward. These side ones in the cross step are really good for improving your defending technique. This is a rotation, so instead of cross-stepping or shuffling, I'm actually planting on that foot and rotating away, rotate away, and sprint out. After that, we'll quickly move into some skill training. So we've seen this exercise before, but I like it because it incorporates everything. Some fast feet, dribbling, shoulder check, uh, playing a pass. So play your pass, then shoulder check, half turn, dribble with pace, turn, Play that pass again, shoulder check. So you're getting your dribbling, you're getting your passing, your first touch, your awareness, playing with your head up. And again, you can go for about 30 seconds, but I am just going, I'm pushing my pace as fast as I can until I get sloppy, until I like fall over my feet or I can't handle the pace of the drill anymore. That's when I stop and then I'll just juggle in between. So if it's getting too easy for you, you have to go faster. Try to keep your quality as long as you can. But as soon as you get sloppy, that means, okay, you need to take a rest, and then that would be one set. So as I said, you could go 30 seconds, but really I'm just trying to push myself as fast as I can until I feel I'm getting a little sloppy. Maybe I misplace a pass or I fall on my feet or stumble a little bit. That means that that's good for that set. And then I'll do 50 touches of active rest in between. So focusing on juggling while you're breathing a little heavy. Can you keep the ball up and not drop it? And then once you've done 50 juggles, you feel you're recovered. Even if you're still a little tired, get ready to go. You're going to do that three times. So three sets, 
and again it could be 30 seconds or it could be just one set until you feel sloppy which should be about 30 seconds if you're really pushing the pace I mean if you're incredible fitness and amazing skill and you never get tired that's one thing and here I probably did a little more than 50 touches I think I just felt like I was still a bit heavy and a bit heavy or felt a bit tired so I just want to take a little more rest so I could really push it on the set right here and then I would go forward and do it again there I was just kinda fixing anytime I have a bad pass instead of just moving forward or a bad touch or something I didn't like I try to do it again and again until I get the proper pass the proper technique that I would like so I don't run away from my mistakes if I make a mistake I try to fix it right away and try to play with the technique why was it bad what do I need to change so really focus on dribbling quickly quick changes of direction everything's just nice and sharp this is a skill drill but it's also stamina with all these drills I want you to practice um, going as fast as you can playing at match speed obviously you want to keep your quality but you need to really push the pace because that replicates a game if you're just hanging out you're just chilling you're just having some touches like it's good that you're on the ball but realistically that's not going to convert to anything in a game so here this is the same drill except now I'm adding a, mo a movement so a one-on-one -on -one move a little quick skill move to make an inch of space and a quick shot so the shooting I'm not necessarily blasting the ball and it really depends on what area you're playing in if you're maybe you're doing the at-home alternative you're just gonna do a lighter shot but you're focusing on making good contact with your laces so I'm just focusing on quick movement and then get my shot off on target hit the net every time hit the spot that you're trying to hit every time focusing on good flex foot the quick dribbling the movement the the sharpness of movement it's all still there similar to the passing one except now I'm focusing on 1v1 skill and then getting my shot away alternating right foot left foot when I get a little tired get sloppy then I'm going to go back into my active rests with the juggling alternate juggling just keeping that ball up